Tutorial shows you how the layer shadow options can be used to create visual effects other than shadows. Close and outlines are the two possibilities we look at. For this tutorial, we'll start with a project file that's almost finished. It's named Tutorial 6.6 .6 and it's located in the Tutorials subfolder within the main Anim Studio folder. Render this file to see what it looks like to start with. Before we try any tricks, let's take a look at a basic layer shadow. Double click. The only layer in this file, layer 1, to bring up the layer settings dialog. Go to the shadows tab, and leaving all the other settings alone, turn on the shadow on checkbox. Click OK to dismiss the dialog. Try rendering the scene again, just to be sure that you have an idea what a regular layer shadow looks like in Anim Studio. Now we'll change the shadow settings to create a glow effect. Double click layer 1 again to bring up the layer settings dialog. Change the layer shadow settings to match the following settings, Offset, 0, Blur 16, Expansion 4. An offset of 0 means the shadow will be centered under the layer that is casting it. With an offset of 0, the shadow direction has no significance. A high blur value gives the glow a nice soft edge. Finally, the expansion parameter tells Anim Studio to expand the shadow, making it bigger than the layer itself. Without expansion, the glow would just barely extend beyond the edge of the layer. The exact color you choose is not important, just be sure to make the color opaque. A transparent glow may be too faint to see. Render the scene again. And it should look like this. Let's change the shadow options once again to create an outline effect. Some styles of animation use a heavier outline around the outside of objects than for interior lines. Adjusting the layer shadow values in the right way can make this style very easy to accomplish. Double click layer 1 again to bring up the layer settings dialog. Change the layer shadow settings to match the following values. Offset and blur set to 0. Expansion, 2. Again, we use an offset of 0 to keep the Shadow centered under the layer. A blur value of zero is used to keep a hard edge on the shadow. Finally, the expansion parameter is used in this case to set the width of the outline effect. For this effect, it's important to make the color totally black and totally opaque to match the interior lines. Render the scene again, and it should look like this.